do you do with this curious silver bolt? Oh, yeah, I remember what it is that I wanted to do. It was the Dwemer Urn. That is a beauty. Is that not a beauty? Holy Sheboygans. That's what I'm talking about, boys. We have our own urn. Big urn. Where are we going to put this big old urn? We have to set it up somewhere real nice. Gotta set it up somewhere real nice, like. You know what? Screw it. We'll get rid of this dumb pot and put it here instead. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. This is gonna look this is gonna look like the tits. Okay, it's gotta be like this. It's gotta be like that. And then we have to like tilt it around a little. And then it's gotta go down. But it's probably gonna have to come forward a little. And then down. Oh man, yeah I like that a lot actually, that's good. That looks really good now. Look, we have our own dwarven urn there. Okay, what else am I care? Oh yeah, I have tons of stuff that needs to go in the chest. Okay. And then we can head off. Fuck, I think I can level up too. Did I level? No, I'm so close to leveling actually. I didn't level though. Okay. Let me just put all this shit in here and then we can go. This core can go in here. Um, These gyros and levers go in here. Leather strips. Um, We got an ingot here. We got a pot that we can sell. We can put this stuff in here. Dwarven metals and stuff. Paper. Put all the paper in there. What else? Holy shit, we have three greater soul gems. Fuck, that's crazy. What? We need to get like a good enchant for something, right? Because currently we're wearing... Oh, you know what? We could do with a good necklace, actually. The necklace we have on right now is total trash. Let's make a better necklace. Check this out, boys. We got this. Necklaces. We need a golden necklace. Something that's not already enchanted. Let's go for like a silver necklace. A silver sapphire necklace. That's what I'm talking about. We're also going to need to take our silver blood family ring and equip it. Okay. Here we go. Check it out, boys. Old Hogan knows. Okay, so we want the silver sapphire necklace. We want to fortify archery. Again. And we want to use a greater soul gem. 10% more damage. It's my birthday today, Dad, for the day off work. Here's some money, please love me. Dad, Mom cries herself to sleep every night. With love, your son, Carl Briscoe. Carl Briscoe, thanks, man. Happy birthday as well. Happy birthday, Carl. Thank you so much. Actually, let's not name it this. Let's rename it to something nicer. Let's call it... Um... Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yes. Created. We leveled up. Wow. Pee pee. Pee pee. Pee pee la poo. Why not? 71 archery, boys. 71. Quick shot. Oh. I like. I went for the quick shot. I did it. I did it, mama. I did it. Okay, where's Pee Pee the Poo? Nice. Okay. Man, we're doing so much damage with bows now. It's nuts. It's nuts, is it not? Is that good? Pee Pee? That's way nicer. Why is why is your why is your pee pee hard? I have no idea. Why is your pee pee hard? Okay. Let's go back and resume this quest. As soon as as soon as I visited, oh, uh, you know what? We're going somewhere different this time. We're going to White Run.
We'll go to White Run. Yeah, we're gonna go to Solitude and buy arrows as well, don't worry. Dad, how do you make a baby? Well, when when somebody loves your mother very much, then it doesn't really matter who. Do you hunt? The planes outside. He White sticks his right with he sticks his pee pee into your mother's bejazzle, and then before you know it, bam! Guess what comes out? That's right, a baby. That's right. Jazzle. Is that not is that not like a, a a commonly used? Hey, is this the skeleton key? Look at this thing, guys. Fuck, we don't have to take this back, right? We're the we, we've become the master of the of the of the thieves guild, right? We don't have to take it back. It looked awesome. Look at it. Wait. Hang on a second. If you need potions. You should try Arcadia's cordial. What are you doing back here? Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. Okay. I want to try lock picking with it. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> it wasn't locked. What? That I steal them. I sell cures for all ills, and I'll be happy to serve you. You look rather pale. Could be ataxia. It's quite a problem back home in Cyrodiil. Fuck! Really? Shit. Okay, hold up. You know what's awesome about thief skills as well? Guess what? Guess where there's a there's a shrine to Mr. T. Right outside, baby. Right outside. We got the cabbages. We got the cabbages for it as well. No problem. Looks like our old... Oh, looks like he... No, he didn't quite eat the honey nut treat. Okay. That's fine. Okay. One times cabbage. Perfect. All right, we have to go to, to uh, Solitude, right? We have to go see the Fletcher. We gotta go see a Fletcher. There's a shrine to Mr. T in White Run? Whatever, 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 guys. Wait, Kay. I know you. No, you don't. You've never seen me before. Got something for just about everybody in here. Not once. Give a holler if you have any questions. Oh. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. All right, I got some some hot stuff to sell you today. Look, steel plate armor. Take it. I also have for you on this very special day, um, probably some other a, a Dwemer cup. Take it. It's yours. There's this pot here as well that you can have. Nice. Right eye of the Falmer for a thousand bucks. I don't think so, baby. I'm hanging on to that. I'll be hanging on to that one. What about my nuttier nutsack? It's worth 254 bucks. Wait. I'm supposed to have this equipped. Oh, shit. You know what I've done? I almost went out into the field without re equipping my daddy. So now I have the Silver Blood Family Two Ring on. Anytime. Okay, thanks. Okay, where's the Fletcher? I thought adventurers were supposed to look. Where's this Fletcher that everybody keeps talking hey, about? Hey, wanna play tag? No. I'm trying to find the Fletcher, motherfucker. Where is he? It's gotta be over here somewhere. If those white run guards can take down a dragon, so can you.
Please, take pity on an old madman. Shut up! Where is it? Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters or something. In the old fort. Is it here? Briley's house. These are all houses. So exciting when you fall from the fucking Fletcher around here, guys. Oh my god. Look at us, we have a cape. Look at our cape. <laughs> Uh, where, where is it? Yeah, any mods? We have a couple of mods. Yeah, we have a few mods. We have a, a couple. Not many, but a couple. Where's the Fletcher? Is he outside the gates? Up the stairs. Being oh, it's not so bad. Oh, there. Up here, I see. That's so loud. Wait. I know you. No, you don't. Is this the Fletcher? Jessica Fletcher? Is this the Fletcher? It's the Fletcher! Okay. Where's all the good stuff? Steel arrows, I don't want those. I will take his cabbage though. <laughs> okay. I think these are just like... <laughs> don't get too far ahead. Elven arrows. Those are kind of good. Orcish arrows aren't too bad. Where's all of his stock? A wooden sword. Gross. Some fine shoes. Where's all the goods in this place? <gasps> the Wolf Queen, Volume 3, and the Spirit of Nern. Wait, this guy isn't even at home. Oh shit, you know what that means, right? It means he's gonna come back any second. Quick, Eric. Hide in the wardrobe. Put your clothes on. Hide. We can't let him see us. Okay, let's leave our call sign. Okay, I thought there would, there would be like a, an arrow bonanza in here. It was not an arrow bonanza. He must be at the, um, he must be at the inn, right? He's at the inn. Drinking. It's the best time to rob people while they're at the tavern. Alright, let's just chill here then for a bit. Best shit is usually behind the counter. I already checked. Oh. Ah, yet another. Eric, I would like you I'm to know that you can take the skeleton key back to see some massive titties. 
You don't really need it if you don't suck at lock picking. Up to you though. Yeah, I don't really suck that bad at it. I've been traveling all over, even been to Helgen. Where the dragon attacked. That's We've right. heard rumors of death and, and thanks, fire Queech. from the skies. Thanks. No real news. And the Biggie Ching McDingding Ding thanks as well, and Carl Briscoe thanks again. Then we should soon be selling arrows by the bushel. A sword is no good against a dragon. Okay. Good to talk to a fellow traveler. Thanks. All right, Jessica Fletcher. I'm ready to make a big, big fucking poiches. He knows. He knows that he knows that I robbed him. Hello and welcome, my friend. Why, of course. And will you also be needing the bow that shoots rainbows? Or perhaps a quiver that dispenses beer? Look, if you want arrows, we have them. But don't insult my intelligence. All I'm trying to say is I want the best stuff. What are you hunting? I'm Never. rich. I don't want to know. God damn. What a guy, eh? Holy shit. But actually, having said that... Okay, so the best this guy has is dwarf 56 Dwarven Arrows. Oh wait, Elven Arrows are better? Wow. Perhaps I'll be seeing more of you. How do I make my own arrows? That was another thing we wanted to try to do, wasn't it? Where do you make them? At? Like a grindstone? Or at a at a one of these tables? At a blacksmith forge. Wanderer like you must have plenty of tales to tell. You can only make iron arrows. I'm afraid I'm too busy to hear them. Seems there's no end to the needs of the Imperials. But what can I help you with? I want to know how to make way better arrows. I have to increase my um, my blacksmithing. Invest in Return smithing. Return anytime oh, okay. you need arms or armor. All right. I forge, never rest. I've got weapons for given, armor for kept. All right. Iron arrows is the best I can do. What do you need for them? Firewood and iron. Oh my god. Okay. We want to be able to make glass arrows, right? Glass arrows have got to be the best. They're definitely the best. Blacksmithing. Where can we just grind away on blacksmithing? In White Run, I guess, right? We'll have to do it another time. We'll have to do that another time. Where is this? Where is the sepulchre? The Twilight Sepulchre. Crack Tusk. The Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary is close to Falkreath as well. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's go here. We're on our way. Just set skill level in console. Come on. I would never. I would never do that. This place is just like up up here yonder. I think. Okay, let's make sure that we've got the right stuff. Dwarven arrow. Elven arrow. I think that's the best we have right now. Oh, actually, no. We do have some glass arrows. About 20. Glass arrows are pretty good. 18 damage. 16 damage with the elven arrows. It's not bad either. Alright. Once again into the fray, guys. guys a new one. Way to rip him, Eric. Good thing we've got Eric with us. I hope he can actually come into the um, into the place with us too. 
He's quite the tank, actually. He's quite the formidable tank. There's nothing that this guy can't tank at this point. We've built him up to be a monster. We've built him up to be a real monster. Oh, nice. Look at this place. Look at this fucking beautiful waterfall. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. I didn't want to waste an arrow. I didn't want to waste an arrow, but I did want to, <laughs> I did want to kill this rabbit. Good. Done. Done. Eric understands. He knows what's up. Is that a beehive? Nice. <laughs> okay, we made it. We made it to our destination very quickly. If Eric ever dies, he deserves a big shrine. He has done some great work for us, hasn't he? Speak to the Nightingale Sentinel. Aha. It's a trial, I think. Hello. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the Sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. Mm. Mm -hmm. We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. How are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. I know how Perhaps that goes. if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. God damn. Wait a moment. You're Gallus! I haven't heard that name in a long time. Oh man, it's how Gallus! You know of me? I have the key. The key! You have the skeleton key! I never thought I'd see it again. That's right! And Mercer Frey? He's dead! Then, it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. No, that's right. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I could, I could use a new pair of gloves? I did this for Nocturnal. I did this to honor the guild. I did this to get rich. Did I do it for Nocturnal? I guess I kind of did. That's quite a noble sentiment for someone in our, well... In your line of work. Yeah. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. Carlia helped me. Carlia? She's still alive? You bet your bottom dollar she is. I she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key. But I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. You're dead already! You're a ghost! The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. Within these walls is the Evermere, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. Everglow? When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Oh. Then I'll have to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Evangel and replacing the key. All right, I'll do it. Okay, good. Can't you just take the key? What will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. Oh. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? 
that's useful. Okay, thank you. Um, how how does Ebon Mirror affect all of us? The Ebon Mirror is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world, not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Luck is meaningless. What we do involves skill. Yes, Hearthstone absolutely. in a nutshell. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our life. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. Nice. How's that changing the way things are? Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. Right. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Okay. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. Right. Okay, I see. It's a very subtle power. So with the Ebonmere closed, our lucks run dry. Precisely. There are a few who Now I know why I wasn't able to pick all those locks. Okay. Good luck, Nightingale. Thanks. Wow. That is great, isn't it? That is just great. Okay. We have to find this little this journal from this guy who died over here, apparently. Wow. It was a long time ago. There's an elven war axe of despair here as well. Nystrom. Nystrom Fresh West. Okay. What does this guy have to say? <clears throat> I don't know why I let Anders talk me into this plan. He said the place would be full of riches, but I have yet to see even a single gold coin to make matters worse. I think the other priests are beginning to suspect we aren't who we say we are. If they discover we're posing as priests of Nocturnal, I'm sure they're not going to simply ask us to leave nicely. I'll have to watch my step. As an acolyte of Nocturnal, I've been assigned a mentor, old dark elf fellow by the name of Lithelius. Maybe if I act the part, I could pry some information from him about the pilgrim's path. Anders swears to me that all of the temple's wealth is stashed within their inner sanctum, which supposedly sits at the end of the path. So my job is to get us through the obstacles alive. Lithelius was easier to coax than I expected. Gave me a wealth of information on the pilgrim's path, but he was speaking in riddles. I'll try to record where I remember here and share it with Anders after he's done with his mentor. The only thing Lithelius seemed clear about was there were five tests on the path. This was what he said about each. Shadows of their former self, sentinels of the dark. They wander evermore and deal swift death to defilers. Above all they stand, vigilance everlasting, beholden to the murk yet contentious of the glow. Offer what she desires most, but reject the material, for her greatest want is that which cannot be seen, felt, or carried. Direct and yet indirect, the path to salvation, a route of cunning with fortune betraying the foolish. The journey is complete. The Empress's embrace awaits the fallen. Hesitate not if you wish to give her your eternal devotion. He also mumbled some nonsensical phrase like, Night is the new day and how he was the ghost of the sun. I have no idea what these cryptic, cryptic sentiments mean, but hopefully during tomorrow's ritual, Anders and I will put everything we've learned to the test. All right, my big takeaway from that was that at some point there's a test to see if we're materialistic, and so don't just offer up like gold or something like that. Otherwise, I have no idea. I think we have to fight some ghosts, possibly. Maybe we have to fight a couple of ghosts along the way and watch out for traps and stuff too. The Pilgrim's Path. I hope this isn't too spooky. You know what? I also hope I hope it's not too hard. For each tier of better material you want to make something out of, arrows included, you have to put a point into the smithing skill tree. And as with anything else, you need a high enough smithing skill to be able to take those perks. Got him. Got him. 
seven elven arrows. Is that how many I fired? Oh, guys, I think it's just a dungeon. Hey, Strangle Throw, thanks for 10 bucks. Uh, for each tier of better material you want to make something out of arrows include, you have to put a point into smithing skill tree. And as with anything else, you need a high enough smithing skill to be able to take those perks. Okay, cool, thanks. Shadows. Gotcha. I'm not even in the light. Oh. <laughs> okay. I see. It's if you get. I wanted to loot that body. I thought I could do it from the shadows, but maybe it's nothing to do with the shadows. Maybe it's just like a like a like a an area of effect or something around it. Is there some way to turn those things off? Oh. Oh no. <sighs> okay. Sure. So it's like these light things that we have to be mindful of, I think. And also traps. Oh god, it's so bright. It's gotta be way up back here. Oh yeah, there is. Okay, good. Ah! Oh man, good thing I sneak around everywhere. I miss like every trap. Okay, we're almost there. Just follow the shadows. We should be all good. Nice. Okay, let's save. What's next? Okay, one of them was something about materialistic stuff, right? So... Oh, it's the statue. 56 gold. I think we have to talk to the statue. There's the dead bandit here. Do I have to like put something on the plate? Stealthy. Maybe we have to approach it not in stealth. There was something about like... Oh, what's this? Aha! Aha! Okay, good. Well... It's fine. We can leave a cabbage to Nocturnal, that's fine. Okay, another room clear, boys. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere. 
We're really starting to get somewhere. Oh. Oh. There's another door over here, though. Come on. Aha! It's a secret way around. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we got company. All of our arrows back from this good. I don't even think we shot that many. It's like giving us double arrows back. Fucking great. Fucking great, guys. That's great. Oh, that's great. Oh, look at all this stuff down here. Look at all this stuff down here. Oh. Proper lock design and construction. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Now we're getting all the good stuff. Pump poison. Oh, some elven arrows. Nice. The good stuff. We want those. We have 62 on hand now. It's more than we came in here with. Darkest darkness. Sure. The cake and the diamond. We have a copy. The Argonian account book three. I think we might be missing that one actually. The Ransom of Zarek. Sacred Witness. Nice. Look at all these great books. Look at all these cool fucking books. Immortal Blood. One Ruby. Okay. What's this thing? an outline there oh maybe we have to step on that thing at the top because it's kind of weird that there's like a platform thing leading right onto it right I don't know what to do I have to have a look around now See if like any of there's got oh there's probably like a little switch or something somewhere right behind it. Oops. Maybe it's this thing. Is there like a pressure plate or something somewhere? Or a chain that I can't see? Do I have to shoot it? I have no idea what to do. Those guys that I killed didn't drop like anything, right? No. Maybe it's something to do with the the, uh, the trap bit. That should be like back here. There's another door here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even need to do any of that stuff. We're in the inner sanctum. Wait, are we meant to be in the inner sanctum right now? Ooh. Spooky. Very spooky. Uh, 
Hello? I'm here to return your skeleton key. <laughs> what? Do I have to jump down there? What if there's a Rancor down there or something and I have to fight it? Uh, Anders! Iron Dagger of Chills. We found Anders' body. I can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all the ridiculous riddles just to end up here. After I memorized Nystrom's clues he'd collected from Lythelis, I slit his throat. Now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> oh no. We did the same thing Anders did. There's got to be a secret button down here or something though, right? Is there a button? On the floor maybe? Or are we just dead? Tell me we haven't just died. Luckily I saved before. Just like a little cuddle between your what big you breasts would <laughs> be nice. Is your actions were expected and represents nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. Okay. Don't mistake my tone for displeasure. After all, you've obediently performed your duties to the letter. Okay. But we both know this has little to do with honor and oaths and loyalty. It's about the reward, the prize. Fear not. You'll have your trinkets, your desire for power, your hunger for wealth. Yes. I bid you to drink deeply from the Ebonir mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. This is awesome. The oath has been struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. I'm proud of you, champion. You solved my final riddle. Now we must bang. And I'm gonna bang you super good. Like Wazoo, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> Nocturnal, thanks so much for the, for the donation and also the kind words. And also for showing us your true form as well. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Thanks. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. Okay. The crescent moon represents the agent of stealth, the half moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the full moon for the agent of strife. Nice. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. Okay. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Nice. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. Okay. So what now? Now? Your life as a nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the sepulchre in order to defend it. And you? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things. <laughs> you take that mask Actually, off? The beginning. Fuck. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps 
The greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. Oh, nice. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. Not at the we Fletcher. Girls, <laughs> but in our hearts, we're still thieves. And we're damn good at what we do. Hell yeah. God damn. That's amazing. Okay, we have to choose a Nightingale role. Tell me about the Agent of Strife. The Agent of Strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, causing great injury to them. That sounds great. At the same time, this tether will bolster the Agent's own life force. Making him stronger. That sounds awesome. What about the agent of subterfuge? The agent of subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Nice. What about the agent of stealth? The agent of stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Oh, nice. Okay. Awesome. Choose your path, and your journey will be complete. Okay, what did she say? The half moon. Okay, so this is strife. This one's subterfuge. And this one is stealth. Let's try stealth. Shadow cloak of nocturnal. Where is it? Is it an item? <gasps> oh look, he's back! Gallus! Gallus! I feared I would never see you again. I was afraid you'd become like the others. If it were not for the actions of this Nightingale, your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Oh. Bye, Gallus. See you later. <laughs> He's gone. He left. Activate portal to entrance. This is awesome down here. You must wait a full day. Okay, yeah. I accidentally stepped on the thing. Okay. So what is this thing now? Is it a, it, is it an effect? <laughs> pee pee the poo. Wait. Wait. Shadow Cloak of Nocturnal. For 120 seconds, you automatically become invisible while sneaking. So I can actually use this whenever I want. Does it just happen? You just need to sneak. Oh, you just need to sneak. Okay. Whenever I sneak. Okay, cool. Okay, thanks. Thanks, chit chat. We're back. Oh. Oh, cool. We don't have to go back through that whole thing again. Oh, great. So if I ever want to come back and change my ability, I can do that. We'll try this one for a bit. See if it's good. And then if it's not, we'll change to another one. I like the sound of the strife one. Striking somebody's heart with a tendril. I think that sounds fucking awesome. Okay, great. All right, we well, gotta go back to the Thieves Guild now because everything is done, right? What? 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 What's with all the Zeds? What's with all the Zeds? Oh, it's like a shout. Oh, it's like a shout. Oh, I see. 
120 seconds of being totally invisible. Don't get too far. So wait, nobody will be able to see me right now? I can go do whatever I like? Does that mean I can pickpocket whoever I like as well? Without any problems? Okay, but wait, I don't want to use that as my shout though. Because I want to be able to, of course, use my Foos Roda all the time. But actually, 120 seconds is pretty long though, right? What? Use it to backstab someone using a dagger because daggers are silent. Oh, okay. You want to see third person when I do this? Oh, cool. It's that thing that Mercer was doing. Oh, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> oh, this game is awesome. It's so good, isn't it? Okay. So we should be the, the, the Thieves Guild Master now. We've done it. Bring y'all take off that stupid costume. It's good to see you in one piece, Locke. It's good to see you in one piece, Lark. Thanks. I just wanted to give you a proper thank you for everything you've done. The guild is back on its feet again, and on its way to a prosperous future. What's become of the skeleton key? It's been returned! That's it, then. After all those years of helplessly watching the guild decline. But enough of that. I'm confident that with you in charge, we'll soon have more gold than we could possibly spend. So where will you be now? <laughs> I'll be down here, trying to coordinate everything with Delvin and Vex. To make sure the coin keeps flowing, and no one skims. Yeah, good. You still feel like doing some jobs. I'm sure Delvin and Vex have more than their fair share to give out. Either way, it's been a pleasure, my friend. Here's to the future of the guild. May it last another thousand years. Wait. I have to sleep down here still? I don't get like a cool room or anything? Oh look. This wasn't here before, was it? There's a shrine to Nocturnal down here now. That was never th that wasn't there before, or did I just like was I just not paying attention and I missed it? Is that it? Oh, where's my cool where's my cool room and stuff? Do I not get one? No, and no one will ever mention you're in charge ever again. Oh, God. I gotta keep doing jobs? Shall be troubling ya. Yeah? I'll listen. I managed to recover an eye of the Falmer. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. <laughs> oh, If you happen right. across any other unusual trinkets like this... <laughs> Be sure to bring him to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. By the eight, you actually got your hands on it. <laughs> this alone is worth more than some thieves earn in a lifetime. That's right. Sixteen hundred bucks, really? That's it? God damn. Delvin, Make come us on. Plan. Who are you? <laughs> Who's that guy? Is he like a new recruit or something? I didn't hire him. And I'm the man down here. I'm right now the man. All right, who else wants to talk to me now that I'm the leader? Vex. So, feeling loose? How about you run a job for me? Uh, actually, I'm the Don't master. Give up now. Thought There's maybe you could run the jobs for me for instead. So what? I can't tell order these guys around or anything now. Wait, do we have full access to the vault now? Oh wait, I'm not the leader yet? Wow, that Falmer eye is sure is big. <laughs> it kinda doesn't really fit on <laughs> it doesn't fit on the bookcase very nicely at all, it turns out. 
Oh yeah, see, Brynjolf. Yeah, I can tell that you guys are right back on your feet and that everything's thriving. Looks great in here. It's re really nice. What's on your mind? Okay, so wait, we have to actually run jobs? What was it? Somebody was saying like five of each or something? Oh, you, you, you become the boss after the guild recovers. I need to do a lot of Vex and Delvin quests first. Oh, right, okay. I think I have a Delvin job right now. The numbers job. Now that we have this, like, super sneak now, too, it should be super easy, right? The numbers job. Oh, yeah, he wanted me to go to Markarth, didn't he? Shit, it's been a while since we've been to Markarth. Last time we were in Markarth, we got chased out by guards as well, so we might have to pay some money. Okay, where is this place? We have to go forge some Let numbers. Me guess. Someone stole your sword. That's yes. How did you know? I was here, I'm here to report a burglary. I, I would like to... Guys, this just happens no matter what, every time I don't have to have it active? Holy fuck. That's nuts. That is nuts, guys. God, I'm really missing that skeleton key <laughs> now. Was it worth it? You be the judge. You be the judge of that. Okay, Eric the Slayer. Stay back. Stay back, vile beast. Oh my god. Fucking easy. Mr. Pinchy is gonna give it all... Oh! Oh, it's not working now. Is that because I'm trespassing? It doesn't matter. I'm. Wah! <laughs> Shit, run! Oh, my no. No, no, no. Okay, they'll never see me now. Oh, it doesn't always work. I do have to have it active, I think. Okay. Numbers job complete. You're hidden, but your followers will bust a nut. Oh, I see. Okay. Just reactivate it. Okay. So if I, so actually, if I want to do this, then I can say, I can favorite this. Right. And I can assign this to six. Where did my other thing go? Oh yeah, the shit, they can only be used once a day. Oh, I see, okay. All right, fine. That's why it came off favorites, because he can't use it again today. Okay, I get it. Gotcha, game. Gotcha. All right, so if I keep doing quests, I become the actual guild master, and then do I get a cool house? Do they give me, they gotta give me something cool, right? And do I get the ability to, like, recruit new people and stuff like that? Because, man, I am all about that. Hey, Delvin, guess what? So, what could I do for you to... This kind of work suits you. But it's gonna end up making you rich. Great. What'd you wanna do? Um, 